Off the phone with a customer of mine. Uh, he had ordered up the O-rings from me so he could replace the O-rings under his hydraulic head. Uh, and at the same time, he had bought the hydraulic head from somebody else, uh, one of the Chinese heads that are out there. The problem I am having right now is whoever it was that he bought that head from supplied him with instructions on how to do it, but unfortunately they are wrong. When you take this head off, this head can only come out in one position, can only go back in in one position. And that is going to be with the tooth on this gear right here, if you recall from one of our last videos. This uh, gear came off of a head that uh, I'd taken apart to show you how to rebuild. That red tooth, you are going to either have a red tooth or it's going to be scored. This one here is both because this is a stock Ambec uh, part here. It's not one of the Chinese ones. Under the cover here from your shutoff, this here is your actual fuel shutoff. This connects to the cable. When you pull the lever back, shuts the fuel off. Under this cover, there's a little pointer. That pointer has to line up with that red tooth or scored tooth. That is the only position this head will go in or come out. If anybody tells you anything other, they're full of it. They don't know what they're talking about. Evidently, this individual's instructions told him that once the head was out, he then needed to pull this cover off in time everything to this before putting the head back in. That is inaccurate. What I tell everybody, whenever you buy these O-rings, when you take this head out, you make sure that truck is not able to move, not able to turn over anything. Because if it does, the head is out of time, your truck is out of time, it's not going to run or it will run horribly. So please, when you do the O-rings on the hydraulic head, make sure your motor never turns over. Do not turn anything that would move this pump around at all. Please, you will only, uh, you will only find frustration and regret if you do that. Okay, you can see the tooth. It's covered in oil, but it's just to the right of the little white pointer. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and a flashlight uh, here separately, but now you see where it is in relation to that pointer? Now we're going to look down here where the timing mark is. You can see the pointer, barely. And if you were to go to the left of the pointer, there's a timing mark about a half an inch away. Well, as you rotate the shaft, so that timing mark lines up with that pointer, your red tooth now is out of view. So, when somebody's telling you to line that up, they're wrong. So again, directions can be bad. So very key, when you pull this head out, this head should come right out now, sorry for the poor focus, this head should come right out now without an issue, and as long as I don't move this pump in any direction, it will go right back in once I have the new O-rings on.